people like, hey, it's obviously it's your choice. And, you know, like I'll respect that, but kind of in the position that he's in, uh, it's, it's disappointing, you know, as a, as a leader. Reaction has been pouring in since Washington State football coach Nick Rolovich announced his decision to not get the COVID-19 vaccine. The Cougs only played four games in the 2020 season because of the COVID-19 pandemic. It appears the Cougar head coach is taking his chances. Rolovich is the only head coach in the Pac-12 not taking the vaccine. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Aaron Luna. And I'm Nia Wong. This news comes as the university is set to require everyone on campus to have the shot. Alex Crescenti spoke to a former Cougar football player turned doctor about what he thinks about Rolovich's decision. With Pac-12 Media Day starting next week, we learned on Wednesday that Washington State head coach Nick Rolovich will not be making the trip down to California with his players following his decision to not get vaccinated for COVID-19. After that, reaction poured in from all across the country. Really somebody who's there to lead a lot of young men and uh, be a representative for the, the university. So uh, bottom line is I find it disappointing. Family physician Sarah Neuron has been on the front lines of the COVID-19 pandemic, running vaccine clinics for the past few months. He also happens to be a former linebacker for the Cougs in the late 90s and early 2000s. He says if he were to have Rolovich as a patient, he would talk about the science and risk benefits of the shot. Are there some people who have adverse reactions to it? Yes, but there's people who have adverse reactions to every single vaccine that's out there. But we know that the benefits to that individual and the benefit to the community outweighs those risks. While Rolovich says he's not getting the vaccine, other coaches around the country are leaning into it. Let's make sure we can safely make this happen by getting vaccinated. Please get your COVID-19 vaccine. Alabama head coach and seven-time national champion Nick Saban even creating a PSA in the state to promote the shot ahead of the season. And the Cougs defensive coordinator Jake Dickert posted this picture online of him receiving his shot in May. Dr. Moran views a potential outbreak of COVID on the team as an unwanted distraction. There's just going to be a lot of non-football related issues that might come from this. It, to, to me, it just seems simple. Like, well, let's let's alleviate that. Let's just stop that before that can by happen and just by getting vaccinated. In addition to all students on campus, WSU is requiring all employees and volunteers to be vaccinated on campus this fall. Exceptions can be made for medical, religious, or personal reasons. On the WSU Spokane campus, I'm Alex Crescenti, 4 News Now.